everybody, my name is Dr. John Lucio. I practice integrative medicine and pain management in Jefferson City, Missouri. And welcome to J&J House Call, the midweek check-in. This is my wife. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Sue. I practice conventional gynecology and integrative medicine. We're so happy to be back with you. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We absolutely love integrative medicine. We love uploading two videos a week, always on a Sunday and a midweek check-in around Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, depending on when we have time to upload a video. But it's all about integrative medicine approaches to medical problems and different topics. We get our content from you, so keep on commenting on what you'd like to hear from us, and we'll do our best to cover them. So today's about medicinal benefits of four culinary mushrooms, four mushrooms that we got to try at the University of Arizona. Andrew Weil Center for Integrative Medicine and we got spoiled by Dr. Andrew Weil talking to us about these mushrooms and his executive chef Todd Sicolo cooked these for us and oh they were mm -hmm. so good so we brought our knowledge home and we wanted to share it with you guys so you can put it on your table tonight yep. and he'll even go through how he cooks because they are real it's a really really good recipe yep so my preference is really just to cook with olive oil and just salt and pepper and um, each mushroom that they showed us, and we're gonna go through four of the basic ones, and they all have kind of a very distinctive flavor to them. And I like particularly the shiitake mushroom because it had kind of a meaty flavor. And then lion's mane, which I'd never had in my whole life, mm -hmm. uh, had kind of a seafood taste to it and had almost the consistency of crab. Mm -hmm. And so it was just very interesting to cook with all these. And uh, as a general rule, they teach us that uh, pull the stems off and just uh, cook with the uh, caps, either slice it or as whole. Um, and really the mushrooms in order to get the really the benefit from the hat should be cooked. Raw mushrooms don't give the same benefit as the um, um, lightly cooked uh, mushrooms do. The first type of mushroom I'm going to discuss is shiitake. Again, as I mentioned, it's one of my favorite. In Japan, it's used in an IV form. The derivative of it is used in IV form for cancer. Uh, treatments and it's an immune booster and um, also prevents uh, or actually lowers uh, cholesterol so, and it does have kind of a meaty taste to it and so I I enjoyed it because I'm looking always looking for alternatives to red meat um, not that I don't enjoy red meat sometimes but mushrooms are actually a very good substitute the next mushroom was um, maitake which um, someone's told me that we find it here in Missouri um, I've not been able not been able to find too many in the grocery stores that we have here. Um, it also is used to fight cancer. It's an immuno booster. Uh, does have some uh, cholesterol lowering properties as well. Now the next one is oyster mushrooms. It's a very pretty mushroom, and actually we I've have found it here locally in Jefferson City, Missouri, in the grocery store. Um, and when you cut into it, it's kind of kind of a, a white color to it. It's, I, like I said, it's very. I found it very attractive. You just need to take the stem off again, cook with the with the cap. It does contain statins, so it's very interesting. If you eat that along with some other food, then also and, and your cholesterol medication actually can help lower your cholesterol even further. It um, also has high uh, amounts of B vitamins, selenium, zinc, uh, phosphorus, and potassium. <clears throat> folic acid, folic acid, vitamin C and vitamin D. The next mushroom is something called lion's mane. Um, when you cut into it, it does kind of look like a lion's mane. It does have kind of a seafood taste to it and it has a texture of crab. So it's very unique. And again, as I mentioned, very easy to make. Um, it also helps with the mental support after cancer treatment. It's called chemo brain. And again, you remove the stem and just cook with the uh, the top portion of the mushroom. Again, all of these are very simple to make. One of the recipes that we learned was to kind of make a, a bowl of a uh, mixture of rice, quinoa, um, wild rice, almonds, and then you put, you saute the mushrooms and you mix all together and it was just wonderful. And then what I've done here is I've made this for everybody with, um, uh, I saute the um, baby spinach into the mushrooms itself as an interesting flavor to it. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.